New at 11, an animal control crisis. We're digging into a problem at Detroit Animal Care and Control. The agency has room for 84 dogs. Tonight, there are more than 200. You know, on a good day, the facility has too many animals, and now it's even worse. Glad you're with us at 11. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. The agency has 38 cats, which they can accommodate, but the dog situation is not sustainable, and it is not safe. And, of course, nobody wants to euthanize these animals. Mara McDonald is live outside the agency. Mara, why do you, why do you think they got this explosion of dogs all of a sudden? So, Kimberly, according to staff here at Detroit Animal Care and Control, most of these dogs that you're about to see inside, they're really young. I mean, like under two years old. So they think these were pandemic pups that people simply don't want to care for anymore. It's really hard to walk down the aisles, see so many dogs, and they're all really young. It is very serious. We have um, capacity for 84 uh, dogs in the shelter. This morning we had 188 dogs in shelter, 194 this afternoon in shelter, and an additional 13 that were sitting on our um, animal control officer's truck. They can't handle it. Two rescues have come by to help today, but the numbers just keep climbing. I know what you're thinking. These are all pit bulls. And while there are many in there, there are also many mixes and some non-bully breed dogs. We're just finding that we're picking them up faster than we can get them um, to a place of safety. Irresponsible pet owners are the problem here. Now what's the fix? Because nobody wants to be euthanizing dogs, but the status quo is not sustainable. If you were thinking about a family pet, now is the time to come take a look. The city is waiving all adoption fees. That's how badly they need these dogs out of here. We're hoping to have an adoption event on Monday. Um, we will know uh, by the end of the day, Saturday. Back here alive, here's why they can't commit to that adoption event on Monday. Um, these dogs, or at least a good portion of these dogs, need veterinary care. It's unclear whether they're going to be able to secure those services. They should know on Saturday if that happens. We will, of course, update you. But something else to consider, Devin and Kimberly, Animal Care and Control is open from 1030 to 330 tomorrow. I know they would love it if people would come down, take a look at all the dogs they have, and maybe take home a new family pet. We're live at Animal Control. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Let's hope so. Okay, Mara, thank you.